double slot look where they bring the ends all the way in and they're right basically next to the A backs. Anthony Gargiulo, as soon as he has the ball, he gets popped. It's Memphis. And Jiki's among the few that have slimmed down this year. Perry on the option. Runs right into Keith Wetzel. That's where they've used AB in short yardage, goal line situations. And AB runs that follow play, gets low behind Gargiulo, and he's got the first. And he's a man's kind of option quarterback. He loves to put his head down and get the tough yards. And he's become the Swiss Navy knife for the midshipmen. And on the stretch, poor job on the initial tackle. Trey Walker gets swung down as he breaks. All defensively is you only want your players to concentrate on their keys, their specific job. And that's what Craig Setiak said they did. Didn't use a football for their defense. Make Cow has the football, and he's right in the clutches. Of Kept the ball on the ground. Although there was chatter when we spoke with Ken Niamatololo and Ivan Jasper of the need to pass some in this game. Perry, wide open gash, why not take it? Rides his blocks. Perry, twirling off contact and willing himself all. Coming around from that backside, leading that play with nobody to hit. Now Perry can follow, and he walks into the end zone past McCloskey for a wide open. And that was a great example. It's a matter of being able to hit him in stride, because they will be open. Perry decides to keep. Decent gash. Riley O'Neal, who was after the embarrassment of Hawaii. You get the preseason favorite in Memphis, home opener, fired up. They're trying to get ramped up to play at FCS Vault, a team that, by all accounts, they should dominate. Inside run for Navy, good for a first. Has to bow out its coverage a little bit, playing a little softer. Perry, the pitch, well timed. Make Cow gets tripped up by saying. And again, in a normal formation with the receivers well away from the rest of the formation. Perry runs into a few bodies, including Mark Walk for Lehigh. Look at this. This is DBs and everybody. How, how close to the line of scrimmage are they? Are they? they don't fall for the fake here. Beautifully read by McCloskey, the two-time team captain. That'll it's incumbent upon the offense to stretch this defense out a little bit. So on the tackle for loss numbers. Abies in at wide receiver. He was the first option. The check down, a tip ball. And an Navy player is sprawled and slowed it. First possession averaged about 10 yards a play. Kept it on the ground, got a score. Sputtered on the second go. Perry into Walker and a few other bodies. It swung down by Walker at Wetzel. Kind of the bottom of your screen. Who talked to us this week about how his role has simplified some from the quarterback days. Perry following that left side. End zone touchdown. 24 yards and a second. The Navy's offense back on the field. Can grab a lot of momentum control in this game. The toss has been there today. It was ineffective against Hawaii, inconsistent against Memphis. Games. That quick flip has not been there. It is now. Do you think the weather might have been a factor last week against Memphis? I think it's the opponent. I, I think. Lehigh's just not that re reacting that fast. Malcolm Perry dragged down by Mark 20 miles southeast of Lehigh in Pennsylvania, then moved to Montana. Yeah. Whitefish. Wow. You spent a lot of time out there yourself. Perry goes to the air. Williams wide open. Just short. McCloskey here. Career's first completion today. And now A.B. in a quarterback on first and goal. The push up front. That's a touchdown, I got to think. Touchdown, Navy. Field late there. And Navy's known for rotating quite a bit on that line. How do you feel that rotation has taken shape this year? They haven't found the five they really like. That's why you usually play more than five. Inside driving run, Keith Wetzel able to stand up. Gargiulo along with Pete Hafner. 
captain emerged in the midpoint of last year. Nelson Smith has rotated some on the year end today. We expect Johnny Lee, Brian Hammond might get some touches as well. Forward progress stalled. Davis Maxey, who plays that hybrid, they call it the hawk position, in between D-line. Still burgeoning career at quarterback. Maxey will be on a B-line for him. Late pitch. And Trey Walker picks up the first down. Tripped up by things up some. Perry to Williams. It seems like Lehigh's got a much better feel as Navy's tried to stretch in some of these talks. Well, look at all this room out here when you don't bring that receiver in. Doesn't mean you're going to option that way, but that's more land, more area to defend. Short side, Williams, big block from Aby, side swipes the backer, and Hafner gets to that second level where it's a defense. As a quarterback, you're talking about reads and everything else. Wide receivers, got to block this guy. End of report. <laughs> On the toss, Walker <laughs> sniffed out there. To see Zach Abies block on the out. When your school days are over, he said that fits his personality. That's where he put Riley O'Neill was on the ground. On the pitch, Miles Fells. Touchdown, maybe 52 yards. On a particular day when they see one of their guys be able to execute something they spend so much time working on. Play fake, why not? Perry loading up. Deep shot, incomplete. There in the linebacker, Keith Wetzel. Is that a mismatch that Navy looks for? Oh, absolutely inside. I think even the safeties against the A backs is a mismatch speed wise. Perry keeps it, rumbles right into Wetzel, takes him a couple of couple of yards. Allen feeling the weight of that turnover on the bench. Only the fourth third down attempt of the game. 80. Nice job by Lehigh. Got even and barely concentrate on the ball moving. Pay no attention to the motion you're going to see because you're going to see some sharp motion out of these A-backs. A.B. Uh, you called it, partner. And A.B. right into Wetzel, picks up the first down. It did seem like there was a little cheap. By how effective are they? Which is probably a good way to do it, right? Not a bad way yeah. to look at it, yeah. <laughs> in, in most cases, that's absolutely true. And it's sure true in this case. Another play fake. Perry taking a shot. Rather physical down the sidelines. Flag flutters. Donovan Harris was all over O.J. Davis. Lehigh began 0-5 and, and then rallied to win the Patriot League and advance to the FCS playoffs. Yeah, you heard that right. 0-5 and, and then won their league. That's pretty crazy. Toss play to Williams. Walker drops the block, the hurdle. And the second man in, able to make the hit. Keith Wetzel pops him this week. And Lehigh's run defense was near the worst in the FCS last year. They allowed over 240 yards a game. They're more physical this year. Perry. Into Colin Nace, the team leader, continues to wind. If you're projecting forward at this rate, Navy continue to employ its starters throughout this half? It only becomes a question after the, at the start of the third quarter. McCloskey chips him down, gain him a couple. And here's Navy with a long field. On the ground, Perry gets nothing to pass more. The completion, the longest of Perry's still novice career. We asked Craig Sutyak, D.C. for Lehigh, what do you expect? He said, we put it at seven passes. That's what we expect from Navy, and they're right around that pace right now. Is Donovan. Some of the passes, some of, them, some of which the guys were open. You got to hit them when they're open. Perry can make himself open all by himself. Malcolm Perry. You need to convert. And to put it in perspective, that 62-yard run, Lehigh is 162 total. Well, Perry has 170 alone. On the toss. That's been there today, Taj Malloy. 
Taken out by Donovan Harris. Yeah, remember the, this Navy offense is doing this kind of with a, a mixed bag of guys up front in the offensive line. His fifth pass of the game, his first interception, picked off by Riley O'Neill. He gets hit by Malone. Something hammered into Navy during the course of the week. So Lewis, the best passing quarterback, and they go shotgun, single back. Edge pressure shown. Lehigh blitzes a lot against conventional offense. Lewis floats it out there a little too long for Taj Malloy, covered by Riley O'Neill. He threw that at. A shotgun again for Lewis. Lehigh brings the blitz. Lewis feels it and steps up. One footed throw. Out of bounds for Ryan Mitchell. Up their business. And Kendi Montalola was fired up after their Wednesday practice this week. He couldn't believe the effort level. His exact words, he said, we beat a team by one point and you're practicing like this? You've got to be kidding me. Let's take a look at the possessions in the first half. Something that you have to have that kind of proficiency at this style of offense. And dominant time of possession. Some friendly fire here, though, right at the mesh point. And that disrupts for Nelson Smith, who carried Riley O'Neill. Sat on many of the Navy players, but he outright shed almost 15 pounds in his process. Smith again, the fullback, who's one of the fastest Navy's ever had to that mesh point. And there, Williams to the outside. Davis Maxey takes him down. He'll be short on the perimeter with the speed. No Zach A.B. at quarterback, normally in the short yardage. A.B. would jog onto the field. Barry, the pitch, goes to the short side, sniffed out. Taj Malloy's got nothing, surrounded by Mountain Hawks. The forward progress only yields a loss of two. Harris and Wetzel combined on the sixth overall pick, third round. You know, he was the first ever freshman to start on the O-line for Andy Cohen, whose background, he was the O-line coach for years before he became the head man. And Malcolm Perry acting as his own offensive lineman, sheds a couple of hitters. Gets an extra few, gain of nine, Riley O'Neill. He has sports. And after a Navy call timeout, Malcolm Perry had jogged off the field with a limp. Zach Aby remains the QB in short yardage on second and one. Following Nelson Smith, he's got it. A quick journey to New York City as we'll check in on the... In my final four. Had perhaps being the operative part of that sentence. Fake the toss. Perry over the top. Incomplete. Looking for Taj Malloy, who had that slight separate. But Malloy did not have the football. And that's its own challenge, right? With receivers, A backs that don't catch the ball a ton. Good sell on the fake and a run through Wetzel again. Gained an extra few. Maybe was late to the fray and seemed to deliver some news to Malcolm Perry, who remains in the game. Has taken a few shots on this possession. Takes another one here as he gets the pitch off. Nice stiff arm on the edge by Trey Walker, and he'll pick up the first down. McCloskey and Wetzel go for the first time in 15 years to soak up this atmosphere. Play fake, Perry loading up again. This time, just a little short, but a heck of an adjustment in the late stage of the first half. A.B. is on the bottom. Perry. Big loft in a one-on-one. -on -one. Incomplete. Let's go back to New York's on the, the pedigree and the history. You look at them over the last decade plus, they have been there and they've been winning. Perry, another play fake. Amy's wide open. Perry got too excited. Overshot him. Attempts for Navy today. Only just past the midway point of the third quarter. Fake the toss. Perry with space. Nice move. Oh, my goodness. Ribka of hits. Even if there's not one particular knock him out of the game blow, what does that effort game after game do over the course of the year? Oh. Only has to worry about the turf. Giant sea of space. And he waltzes in for a score from 30 yards out. The field, 
We've seen him earlier in obvious passing situations. My guess is you're going to see his option offense here. Play pick. Long look for Williams in stride. He's called Navy's best passing quarterback for a reason. Yeah, so much for my best guess, huh? <laughs> Nelson Smith bowls over a mountain hawk and from behind Keith Wetzel. And he is the most undersized of Navy's offensive linemen listed at 260 pounds. Back to the fullback and Smith shielding the football from those probing hands. In a left tackle now is Peter Nestrowski. Nestrowitz. The Navy going with a lot of the second unit, and Garrett Lewis shows he can make plays with his feet as well. Touchdown. Each team will dive deeper. Garrett Lewis remains a quarterback. Mike Martin is in at fullback. Every time Martin comes in, that first touch is a biggie. As we go back to New York City for a big Perry had 223 on the ground, plus another 65 of the year. Now you wonder when will we see. Johnny Lee who turned to begin this drive well sometimes being quick into the hole at fullback is not a good thing because that block really hasn't happened yet well, Lewis and Ivan Jasper talked about the fact even with Smith because he's so quick out of the blocks that sometimes it's better to be made by the defenders which enable the fullback to get those yards here on third and short feed Martin Forward progress. A select few participated in the coin toss, the most mm. prestigious, the highest honor that you can get in the American military. And their stories out of this world. A very special thanks as well to Bob Monahan Jr., the CEO. It's uh, you do yourself a favor. Look up Medal of Honor and look up look up the stories of the individual winners and why they won. What a fake by Lewis. Long carry there. Recognized a couple of nights ago, Bill Belichick. Yeah, flew in just for the night. Flew back up to New England. They're going to face Jacksonville on CBS tomorrow. Well, he's got a long history with the Naval Academy with his dad being assistant coach here for a long time. Downs that he'll be harping on when they go back to league play against SMU. Heck of a job by Lewis going through a few arm tackles. In terms of the lands, East Carolina last year chop blocked him and slowed him down. How long before somebody does that? Lewis play fakes. And Lehigh trips him up at the 30. Bart is he the number one pick in the draft? Barring injury, he's at least, in my mind, top three to five. Now, he's not the prototypical defensive tackle. You know, he's 6'3", he's about, what, 260. Taniest thing, and neither one of them necessarily got into the legs, but the officials do a good job of taking care of defenders. We were just talking about chop, chop blocks and Ed Oliver. Tip ball still finds the target. Michael Cooper. Employs a wide open, pass heavy offense. They've stumbled a bit out of the gates. Off the fake, into the flat. Get a lot of those yards back on the look to Justin Smith. Really nice job of producing turnovers. Offensively, producing running yards. Passing game, that'll be pointed out. Nice hit there by Jawan Morrow, and I'm sure the six penalties as Wiaters killed March the 14th this year when their FA 18F Super Hornet crashed in the shallow waters of Naval Air Station Key West. King was a three-year letterman for the mids, part of Navy teams that won. And we spoke with Ken Niamatololo and the rest of the coaching staff. Uh, they clearly got emotional, and the words out of their mouth littered with praise for the, the drive of Caleb. Sold that fake so well. Don't get a ton for it as we check in with Sheehan. Yeah, jump. Ball loose. 
Lee I seems to have fallen upon it. Dalen Moore.